Good morning, class. Today we shall be dealing with verification of Ohm's law using two resistors connected in series. Now, we have a voltmeter, an ammeter, a rheostat, a key, a battery, and our two resistors. Now, the batteries are two. So, we have a circuit diagram that shows you can in, see here is indicated two batteries connected to the key, the second end of the key connected to the lower end of the real star, the upper end of the real star connected to the positive of the ammeter, the negative of the ammeter connected to the positive of the voltmeter, the negative of the voltmeter goes back to the negative of the battery. Then we have the two resistors connected in series and then connect a parallel to the voltmeter. So watch as we do our connection. Now, this is our battery. The positive end of the battery will now go to the key. The second end of the key goes to the lower end of the real start. The upper end of the real star goes to the positive of the ammeter. The negative of the ammeter now goes to the positive of the voltmeter. But since we are connecting the resistor to it, we connect the two cables to the positive of the voltmeter. The second cable will now go to our resistor, one end of the resistor. We connect another cable from the second end of the resistor to an end of the second resistor. From the second end of the resistor, we connect another cable together with the battery, the negative of the battery. And these two cables will now go to the negative of our voltmeter. It will now go to the negative of our voltmeter. From this connection, what we've done is we've connected the two resistors parallel to the voltmeter while our ammeter is in series with the voltmeter. Now we are to adjust, we are to test our work by plugging the key and checking whether the connections are okay. You can see our connections are okay. If I remove the key, you will see that it will go to zero. If I plug the key, you see the two reading. So I note down my readings. So my voltmeter reading here is 2.2, while my ammeter reading is 0 0.28. Now I now go to my real start and adjust my real start. I adjust my real start to any level I want. I now take my reading, which will be 1.9 and my ammeter reading will be 0.26 i now readjust it again to any level i want i now have 1.1 on the voltmeter while my ammeter reading is 0.14 I now adjust it again. I adjust my real start. I now have 0 0.8 on my voltmeter, while I have 0 0.1 on my ammeter. I am to take five readings, so I adjust again. I now have 0 0.5 on my voltmeter, and I have 0 0.0 six on my ammeter. So I have a set of six uh, readings. This is my voltmeter. This is my current. So I am to look for, this is my voltmeter. This reading is for my current. I am to look for V over I. So by dividing V by I, I have a value here. And at the end of calculating each of the values here, I should find the mean. And the mean, I now compare my mean with the two resistors used. 
So at the end, I can verify whether what Ohm's law stated rhymes with the experiment that I carried out. If it rhymes, then that means what Ohm's law stated is true. And that is what we want to find out. Thank you.